Okay, so here we have the second fault. And this one simulates the San Andreas near Hollister, where we have a lot of creep going on. So we have a lot of movement in Hollister, but we don't have um, strong shaking um, that we've experienced. So here we have nothing on the board. The other one we had sandpaper, remember? And underneath the brick, it's just tape. And so it slides a little bit easier than the last one. So let me get this lined up just right. Okay, so keep an eye on the spring scale, and then we're going to measure the offset like before. Don't forget to count the cranks, okay? Okay, so that didn't take long, right? So we had movement of about nine millimeters. We, yeah, I would say nine millimeters, almost a centimeter. Okay, and our spring scale went up to about 600. And you can record where it is now. All right, and we'll do it again. It's already moved again. Okay, now it's still kind of moving. You see that? Now we're at 15 millimeters or one and a half centimeters. Okay. It again. Okay. So again, now we're, that's not too many, we're at about 17 millimeters or 1.7 centimeters. So you had, um, you have quite a bit of tension still left here and um, our, our uh, yield point is a little bit lower. And so we only do a couple of cranks before there's movement on this particular fault. And again, this is just in Hollister. San Andreas elsewhere is kind of like the other fault we looked at, which was the White Wolf Fault simulation. So San Andreas everywhere else is going to have a lot more energy buildup and greater slope.